Hey guys, it's a Wiltshire. Um, I've got uh, quite a few uh, complaints that people that uh, have uh, pop sorter not working on 5.00 NV3. Um, I have a working one for you guys. I'm going to share you on how to install it and how to use it. Uh, I have another tutorial on how to make pay PS1 games so you can play them on the go and not have to hook up the stupid system to the TV anymore. Um, what you need to do first is connect your PSP to your computer. Mine will connect in a, in a second. Um, then what you want to do is open it up. Okay, mine says act application not found, so we'll just go out, come back in. Okay. There we go. And go into SE plugins. Alright, you need to copy Pops Loader into SE plugins. If you don't have the SE plugins folder on your custom firmware PSP, not official, custom firmware PSP, copy that in and then make a new text document called Pops. And you, oh yes, and you have to copy the Pops Loader pricks in there too. Remember that, PRX, copy that in there. Make a new text document called Pops, P-O-P-S, and then open it up and write this right here. Popsloader.pricks and space one. Space one means it's uh, enabled, space zero means it's not. All right. Now that that's installed, what you want to do is restart your PSP, hold the right trigger, and enable it if you didn't put the 1 there. If you didn't put the win 1 there, then you have to go through the recovery menu and en enable the plugin. If you put the 1, you're good to go. I'm going to show you what it's going to look like through uh, Remote Joy. I have Windows 7. It's 64-bit. Uh, if um, people are having trouble getting it to work on that, I will show you a tutorial on that too. Just uh, ask politely and I'll make one. Alright. Now you can see that uh, I have PlayStation 1 game, Kulanoa. Very good game, I love it. Um, what I'm going to show you guys is uh, you start the game, you hold the right trigger. And this is what Pops Loader is all about. You can't see it right now because it's somewhat stuck. Um, you'll have a list of pops, it'll say original from flash, 4.01 pops, and all the way down to 3. This only works with 5.0 MV3 firmware. If you don't have that, please upgrade. Um, this is probably the best pops loader I have for you guys. Um, you'll get a bunch of different options of what to play in the pops. It's basically, um, how should I say this, it's uh, more compatibility. Uh, if it freezes from the original from Flash, then you just go down to 4.01. Uh, I will give you a site to show you which ones to use. People have already tested it, saying, uh, please use this type of pops or not. So I'm just going to press original from Flash. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I had to skip ahead a bit because my uh, I accidentally turned off my PSP. So as you can see, it's playing. I'm pressing start. As you can see, uh, I'm moving. See, it's a PlayStation 1 game. Um, I will show you a tutorial on how to get that to work. Um, if you guys have any questions about the Pops Loader, let me know. I'll show you uh, how to get it to work. Um, that's basically it on how to uh, get Pops Loader. This is a working Pops Loader. Um, not like the ones that you have to go through PSAR dumper and stuff like that, and dump all the, the firmwares. I've already done that for you guys. I've got it to work. Um, that's basically it to all this is. Uh, please watch my PlayStation 1 tutorial on how to uh, make PlayStation 1 games into PSP format. Um, it's a very, very simple guide. I'll, I'll include everything in the description. If you guys have any questions about Remote Joy working on Windows 7, 64-bit, or Windows or Windows Vista 64-bit, uh, let me know. I'll do a tutorial on that too. And um, yeah, have a good day, guys.